hello guys i'm back with another video in this video i'm going to do some refactoring of this profile setting screen uh, as i have uh, developed this screen in the last video so in this video i'm not going to implement any other screen but instead i'm going to show you how you guys can refactor your code so let's open profile setting screen and this is the screen that we have developed in the previous video uh, this screen have a problem and the problem is it contains both front end and back end code so now we have to do uh, now we have to separate front end code from the back end code in order to be refactored in order to follow best practices right so let me show you we have text written controllers file pickers that's okay that's all good related to the front end but upload image and store user information this is detail that are going to be a part of the backend logic so now let's shift this information to the controller that we have already created okay guys so you can see we have a controller folder and that contains auth controller let's shift this code to the uh, auth controller screen okay so first of all i'm going to copy this upload image and then this i'm going to shift this these two methods to auth controller right over here for this we have to import file and also we have to import few other packages okay uh, let's fix issues first and now we have to import firebase storage okay so we have to provide selected image right over here file selected image this will be expecting as an argument to the function also we will be expecting a few other parameters like uh, string name string uh, home string business string shop okay so we will be expecting these parameters too and also as you guys can see uh, now we don't have any controller or there so I'm just going to remove this code uh, and for loading purpose I'm going to create a variable right over here variable is profile loading initially I'm going to make it false and now let's use this variable instead is profile sorry is profile uploading we have to make it false okay guys and now we have to provide name variable instead of name controller home variable instead of home controller and we have to do respective shop okay after doing this uh, we are all set let's call these functions uh, first of all we have to remove this from here too okay guys so first thing that i'm going to do is i'm just going to uh, find the dependency or the auth controller that i have created auth controller get dot find okay Make sure to uh, specify the type auth controller and let's see where the error is. So basically, errors are there. Uh, instead of is loading, now we have to call auth controller dot is profile uploading dot value because this is going to be a uh, observable variable. And once on submit function is clicked we have to make uh, is auth controller to true so how we can do this we just have to copy this 
and paste it over here and assign a true value and now we have to call auth controller dot because our uh, store user information function is now shifted to the auth controller and this function is now expecting a parameter like selected image name home business etc so now i'm going to paste selected image for name i'm going to call name controller name controller dot text and we have a home controller dot text okay guys after this we have business controller dot text and last but at least shop controller dot text so basically we have to provide this information to the function and now everything is okay uh, so let's test it now I'm going to share my uh, actual device I have installed a third-party screen mirror application now you guys can use simulator or anything you want so okay uh, it's right over here I'm going to enter my phone number and yeah it redirected me to the, the uh, phone verification now uh, recapture is called automatically okay guys now let's wait for sms to receive yeah we got the verification code 387153 387153 this is our verification code and it will redirect us to the 387153 yeah it's correct why it not redirected me okay so yeah uh, our user has been created successfully and now uh, only issue is in our uh, navigation let's fix this quickly OTP verification uh, somewhere here in and we have uh, this rounded with shadow widget and this on complete we have to check for the on complete yeah verify otp when otp when otp has been verified so now uh, it created the user too as you guys can see card has been printed and then login now after this we have to call dot then and right over here we have to again do some checks as you guys can see i have some deciding of routes so i'm going to call this function decide route okay uh, if i'm going to log in then it will send my user to the profile screen otherwise it will send my user to the profile setting screen so i was missing this line of code okay now let's give it a restart and now in this case you guys can see I'm uh, redirected to the profile setting screen now I'm going to enter my details and going to click on submit uh, we got an issue let's let's uh, let's see what it is it's inside profile setting screen okay guys so I have not selected the image for this I think we have to uh, do some validation if selected image if this is equal equal to null we just have to return and after before this we have to call get dot snack bar title warning 
warning is going to be please add your image okay and now let's click on submit again okay sorry uh, this should not be true right over here when we are done with verification it need to be true over here sorry and now again i'm going to call restart so yeah it again uh, showing profile settings screen let's fill this information and now let's click on submit yeah you guys can see warning please add your image let's click on this and take image from the laptop okay so if i click on uh, submit button now you guys can see no app check token for request so this means that file is now been uploading and again i have made a mistake is as this variable is observable we have to wrap the entire widget with objects make sure if you are using observable widgets you should have to wrap your widget with objects if i now control s and yeah you guys can see uh, our file has been uploaded successfully download url is here and now user is redirected to the home screen the dummy home screen and now let me show you that is it really configured in the cloudflare store let's see so yeah guys you can see business address home address this is the image that i have uploaded and my name and also shopping address uh, so i think we have to do uh, also validation for the text fields that we have entered like name controller home controller business and shopping so this also should contain validation so i will catch up in the next video thanks for watching